just has to be fixed before this bag blows up. <laughs> you have about two minutes. Hello. Today I have here this big canister of 25% ammonia solution and I'm here with Advanced Tinkering because he suggested to me a project idea to extract the 25% ammonia out of this and turn it into 100% liquefied ammonia. So for that he has brought this air conditioning compressor. To start, Advanced Tinkering is going to explain us how this entire contraption is going to work. Well, first we have to find a way to connect uh, our pressurized side to the compressor. I used these hydraulic fittings, they are called Schneidringverbindungen. Uh, I googled the translation and it actually says cutting ring uh, connection or fitting. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. Certainly correct. The first thing is to brace one of them onto this copper line here. Ich hab nicht gefilmt. Das hat doch gut funktioniert. Die Kamera sieht ja immer komisch, dass jemand da mit dem Handy steht, oder? Ja. Alter, man bräuchte einen Kameramann. Elias, warum hast du keinen Kameramann? Ja. Schwach. Sag mir, wo ich ihn herbekomme. We've braced on our fitting to the copper pipe. We've had problems with the type of brazing wire we used uh, at first, but then we switched to a silver brazing wire and that worked fine. To connect our plastic tube here, we are going to use these hydraulic fittings. Now we can connect it to our fitting. We need to put a red cross in the calendar for finally using the proper tools. Because this compressor, like any other oil uh, sealed compressor, introduces some oil vapor into the exhaust stream, we have to uh, basically absorb or condense that oil, which means we have to use um, this piece right here, which will be filled with molecular sieve. And this way the oil will get trapped in here and not end up in our gas bottle. That is good. I've took some time to prepare everything, so you don't have to watch me uh, wrap Teflon tape around 10 threads. Three rolls of Teflon tape. <laughs> the more the better. And as I've said, uh, we are going to fill this um, oil absorber with uh, molecular sieve. At the top here and also at the bottom there is some glass wool to prevent any molecular sieve from getting in the gas lines. The second important part of the pressure line is uh, the pressure gauge right here to monitor the pressure in the system and this ball valve here which we can use to uh, on the one hand evacuate the cylinder and the whole pressure line so there's no air inside and also to vent the system uh, in case we need it. Vent the ammonia. Better than exploding the ammonia. <laughs> Who left the lid of the molecular zips open? Now that everything here is connected, we have the compressor, then we have the oil absorber, and that is connected to our pressure gauge right here, which means we can connect it to our gas cylinder. Before we do anything with liquid ammonia, I will pressure test the system to make sure that it can withstand the pressures, which means we're going to turn on the compressor and maybe go up to 15 bars. I think that's good enough to see if we have any leaks. We've tested the system to 15 bars. Um, it holds pressure, there are no leaks. Let's hope this doesn't happen with ah, like ammonia. This. So now that we have our bottle of liquid ammonia here, we can test for that by simply... 
<laughs> Just joking, of course. The apparatus is now fully assembled right here. It's quite a simple setup. We're going to put in the concentrated ammonia solution in here. We, the hot plate will be used to heat it and uh, all the water will hopefully condense in this condenser right here. And just the pure ammonia with trace amounts of water will go through this tube right here down into the washing bottle that we will fill with solid sodium hydroxide and that should absorb the rest of the water. We have two washing bottles just to make sure we have enough sodium hydroxide to absorb every trace amount of water. We get stored in this bag right here first and then we will, once this bag is full we can turn on this compressor and it will suck all of the ammonia down here into our gas bottle. Our wash bottles right here with the sodium hydroxide. I think that's enough. Oh, that's bad. What do I do? I missed. Uh, that's mm. bad. Great, now I have the sodium hydroxide on my joint crease. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Third time's the charm, right? Yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, that looks good. First attempt. <laughs> Next, we need to fill in the ammonia, which will be the most fun part. Mm. And now for the most pleasant smelling part. <gasps> yes, that's good. Oh, smell this. Is this really concentrated? Jetzt, jetzt so hieß. Mach mal den Kühler da drauf, Alter. Das geht ja gar nicht mehr. And last but not least. We have to fill in the silicon oil into our oil bath. Before we start, um, we first want to flush out all the air inside the glass apparatus and the washing bottles here. For that we will try to briefly turn on the compressor to pull a vacuum on the system. And the ammonia should uh, release first before any water boils. So we should be able to flush the whole site here with ammonia gas. Ah, okay, now. Question is now, how long do we need to flush? So we smell ammonia coming out of our uh, <laughs> line down there. Well, put it to your nose then. I am smelling something. You do? Whoa. Oh yeah, now, now I smell something too. Whew. <laughs> Which means the next step is to connect our high pressure line to the gas cylinder. The gas cylinder is currently in a bucket of water just to uh, remove some of the heat we will produce when compressing the gas. Before um, we can compress our ammonia into our gas cylinder, I will pull a vacuum on the high pressure line and the gas cylinder via the vacuum pump right here and via the spall valve to remove any leftover air inside. Oh, oh. Someone filled in too much of the silicon oil, so we have to remove some. Otherwise, this will probably spill over if it heats up any further. I want to see you remove exactly 20 milliliters. <laughs> That's easy. Guess you can't do it anymore. Perfect. Ah, that. Mm. 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 That's hot. While Elias is removing the silicon oil, you can see the plastic bag expanding as it fills with uh, ammonia gas. 
So our bag is now completely filled with ammonia gas. So I'm going to turn on the compressor so it will all get pumped into our gas bottle, which is hopefully open. It is. Okay, let's stop it. Uh, what do we do? That's incompletion. Technical difficulties. Alter, der platzt gleich. Der, wir müssen Druck irgendwie ablassen. Ich kann es hier aufmachen, aber Kollege, das ist halt... Äh, <lacht> warte mal. This is a terrible idea. Okay. We have to remove the... Ja, wir müssen das irgendwo aufmachen. Open it, open it. Oh. <laughs> so right now we are basically screwed. <laughs> basically our compressor died. Why are we at 12 bars? Do we have too much air contamination? <laughs> so we have to do some last minute electronics repair. <laughs> Because apparently our uh, condensator... <laughs> Because apparently our capacitor is uh, connected the wrong way around. No pressure here. <laughs> Just has to be fixed before this bag blows up. We have about two minutes. Let's hope this works now. It doesn't. We're screwed. Super cool. Um... Oh. We are so screwed. <laughs> Sag mal, warum, was ist, was ist denn dieses Surren überhaupt? Was bitte? Er versucht er zu starten, aber dreht nicht hoch. Vielleicht musst du ihm einfach mehr Zeit geben? Nee. Warum nicht? Weil er nur heiß läuft. Der kriegt... Der, wenn, also ich weiß, dass man nicht länger warten muss. <lacht> It works! It works! I'm not sure what's different. Uh, from now and 15 years ago, but I mean it's 15 years ago. I knew that my compressor had problems uh, starting too, but not as soon as this one. Um, it's very hot, so we are going to put it in a bucket of water to cool it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the professional way. Yeah, electronics and water always makes as well. What could possibly go wrong? And now it's nice and Cool. We are leaving it in this water bucket here to cool it because it gets quite hot and the water is just there to... <laughs> Some raven crows. Since the water is grounded, <laughs> everything is good. Absolute safety. God bless. Jetzt läuft er auch hier. Geil. Electrician. Sekunde. Thank you very much, Alexander. For figuring out our wiring problem here. <laughs> this worked perfectly. We are going to change out the ammonia solution right now because this one is only releasing the ammonia quite slowly by now. And we don't have the time for that. And now we'll pour the solution into the speaker so we can dispose of it. Scheiße, der Sack platzt. Alter, wir müssen das sofort aufmachen hier. So the compressor is completely dead, our bag is almost exploding with ammonia. Basically we are completely screwed right now. Yeah, the compressor is tot. Warum bist du dir da so sicher? Ja, ich weiß nicht.
bringt er gerne mehr an. Ja, der ist tot. Alter. <lacht> Willst du mal in der Nadel reinstechen? Ungern. What do we do with the 60 liters of ammonia in this bag right now? Sniffing it. Lüfte mal hier, ja? Oh shit, da kommt Füße da, wenn du ausspannst. You're releasing liquid ammonia. Bag of death. What are you doing? I'm weighing my ammonia. <laughs> Ah, you can hear it uh, sloshing, sloshing around in there. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Our compressor has now officially died, so we had to stop at this point. It basically ended the exact same way it did last time I did this experiment. But now we have at least 200 grams of liquid ammonia in here, which is quite nice. You can even hear it sloshing around in the bottle. I don't know if you can hear it from the distance. But if you have any suggestions what we can do with this, let us know in the comments. But we already have an idea and you will see in upcoming videos what that will be. Thank Thanks you a lot, lot for, for watching. watching. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Michael. Thank you. But that's, yeah. that's perfect. <laughs>